Hello everyone, welcome to MSCJP Standard Institutions YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about electronic expansion valve kit. What does it mean kit? And what is the difference between electronic expansion valve and electronic expansion valve kit? Electronic expansion valve is a valve which will be given to one IDU. Electronic expansion valve kit is a kit which is been given to three to four. I mean to say for multiple IDUs, one kit is enough. No need to provide a electronic expansion valve for every individual IDU. Okay. This one kit will serve three to four indoor units. How? Let's see. And one more important thing. What is electronic expansion valve? Point number one. Electronic expansion valve is used to control the flow of refrigerant in the DX system. How it is controlling the flow? Basically, in your IDU indoor unit, you will be having electronic board with its controller. The electronic board with its controller senses the temperature of the room and as per that required amount of temperature, it sends the signal to your EEV regarding how much amount of refrigerant is required to cool that room. So the signal from the control, okay, from where the particular controller will be sent to your EEV back, EEV kit. So EEV kit gets the signal from where? From IDU controller. Then this EEV kit will be having a small motor in it. Okay. And that motor will open the valve port to let the gas or refrigerant from where? From your condenser via your electronic expansion valve to your where? IDU. Why? Just to maintain the temperature or for temperature control of the particular room understanding as you can see in this figure, figure particular figure okay what's happening over here you just follow my finger okay but i'll be taking a pen right you just follow my pen from here from condenser we are getting condensed liquid check out this one single condensed liquid gas pipe is been splitting into one two and three different pipes okay splitter one main pipe has been splitted in three branches and three individual branches after getting what can i say mm, decreased in pressure with the help of your eev kit as there is a decrease in pressure this condensed liquid converts to six degree liquid from condensed liquid to six degree liquid with the help of reducing the pressure what happens as the pressure decreases ultimately the temperature of the refrigerant also gets decreases as the temperature decreases condensed liquid converts to pure liquid 6 degree refrigerant this 6 degree refrigerant from the main pipe to the individual branch pipes will directly enter into your IDU indoor units you can check out see main pipe only one single pipe okay converted into three splitters one two three three splitters for three different indoor units over here you can check out six degree refrigerant low temperature low pressure gas liquid sorry low temperature low pressure liquid entering into your indoor unit indoor unit indoor unit okay what is happening the heat is rejected by the room because this is the lowest temperature and the room will be the higher temperature body this will be the lower temperature body with that what is happening ultimately you are refrigerant which is a liquid state converts to gas condensed gas Okay, inlet is liquid, outlet is gas. This gas will be sucked by our compressor and it will be first of all accumulated or it, it will be taken from the three branches of the indoor units to the main suction pipe which is going back to compressor. For what? For getting compressed. Why to get compressed? Because again the cycle keeps on going, refrigeration cycle, compressor, condenser, expansion valve and evaporator. Evaporator means you the ID unit. Okay, hope you understood this cycle. What is happening over here? From here, we took a condensed liquid. Okay, this condensed liquid 
A pressure is being reduced by our electronic valve kit. This electronic valve kit, what it is doing? It's reducing the pressure. What happens if it reduces the pressure? Ultimately, the condensate liquid converts to pure liquid, low temperature, low pressure, six degree Celsius. This six degree Celsius from the main pipe can if we uh, split it into branch pipes one, two, and three. These three branch pipes are for three different inputs to the three different IDUs. Okay, and it is entering over here. As what is happening as it enters, room rejects its heat. Due to that, what is happening? The particular 6 degree liquid evaporates, and the evaporated gas that is nothing but condensed gas again taken by, by taken back by the suction line from the three branches to the one main suction. It's going back to your compressor. That's fine. That is about your electronic valve kit. For it is for three room electronic valve kit. Fine. Then what these three things are? Now let's talk about the control, the flow control of your VRF VRV system. How it is being controlled? You know, I have given in many of my lectures. See, VRF VRV is very what can I say prominent? Why? It has DC compressor, inverter compressor, the electronic expansion valve kit with a uh, uh, number of controllers in the motherboard into the PCB printed circuit board which you will be finding in IDUs as well as in your outdoor units so let's see small wiring of electronics here you can see one two three these are nothing but the communication wires one is yellow one is blue one is white this yellow blue white communication wire from here from where from your electronic expansion valve kit will be given to every IDU, where to every IDU controller, what it is controlling the controller, what it is doing, the controller is controlling the flow of refrigerant, understanding why it is controlling the flow of refrigerant, the amount of refrigerant required to cool a particular space, that much of amount only it will be taking, with this what is happening, energy is getting minimized, understanding, with us what is happening, less billing, huh? power consumption is low and there is no extra usage due to this particular technology. Understanding? So, these are the what these three things are. These are the communication cable or communication wire. So, from here, the controller sends a signal to your EEV. As per the signal sent, the, uh, I, I said you, a small motor will be there that will open the port of the valve or close the port of the valve. So, as per that, the refrigerant goes in and comes out. That's it. That's about electronic expansion valve kit of any we are a PRV heat pump or heat recovery system. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this session. Hope you gained some knowledge with this session. I'll come up with more videos. I'll come up, come up with AHU kits and air handling units in my next coming session. Thank you.